What's going on people? So we got the wood to do the other side of the wall. Let's get started. All right, I spent about 30 minutes just cleaning this table off and throwing away some stuff. And I think we're gonna try to rebuild this thing. The bottom has pretty much gone off of it, but I got some plywood over there and I'm thinking we might be able to clean this thing up and save it. The only thing that sucks though is these drawers that are in here, they're all on wood rails and they're super hard to use. So I'm not sure what to do there. We'll just clean them up, I guess, the best we can. But if you guys remember, we trimmed all these boards at the top and I kind of just did that to get a straight line. And down here, we haven't gone the rest of the way yet. So I'm gonna chalk a line and we'll get it done. Now, unfortunately, there's a bunch of nails in my line of path, and I don't want to tear up the barn siding by lifting the edge, but maybe that's what we'll try to do. And thankfully, there's only a few, it looks like. But what I did for the other side that worked really well is use the circular saw, just set it at about an inch, inch and a half, and I can just zip down the line. And if the depth is right, it doesn't cut the four by four behind it, and it worked out pretty good last time. Alright guys, well I gotta say, that came out pretty good. Got a semi straight line all the way down, and I don't think I could ask for better than that. There are some soft spots where the termites got to this beam, but it's really not that bad for the most part, which I'm super thankful because that would have been a major deal to replace. So I gotta clean up all of this mess. I wish I would have done this before because it's all over the insulation now. But I'll sweep up the best I can, and yeah, we'll start getting this siding on. Well, it's all cleaned up, looking nice. I told myself I wouldn't stop for lunch until I put that siding up. You guys know how I like my food. Let's get it going. Boom! The wall is up. Turned out super good. And for as lopsided as this barn is, everything came out pretty straight and level. I couldn't be any happier with that. This stuff doesn't hold up the best over time, so I'm gonna throw a coat of white paint on there just as an added measure. And plus, the other side's white, and it just gives more light. I'm gonna go ahead and take the air gun, blow this down to get all the sawdust off of it, and then we'll throw some paint on there. Man, I just noticed something that's really gonna bother me. A couple of these panels are touching the ground and you know that's no good. The moisture is just going to leach into the bottom of these boards. So we're going to have to pull a couple off and zip them down. Whew. 
Well, that took an extra 30 minutes out of my day, but I'll sleep better. It's the little things. Close, yet so far we ran out of paint. This took like three quarters of a gallon just to do this much. This stuff is so porous, it just eats paint like it's nothing. So I gotta head to the store real quick. I will be right back. And just like that, we're back with the goods. Couldn't find the same paint, of course. I don't know how old this other stuff was that I was using, but it's close enough. Crack the top on her. Oh yes, nice and stirred up. I will use the old tray even though my roller doesn't fit in it and it's really annoying. Oh yes, love wasting paint. It was outside, which was kind of cool. There was a ton of people. Really? Yeah, if it was indoors, there was no way that everyone would fit. Huh. But yeah, there was a ton of people, but it was nice being outside. This is just from July. We've been 41 times. Nice. It's July 3rd. All right, guys, so sorry for the lack of light, but we got this entire wall painted up. Man, that took a long time. This stuff eats through paint. I went and got that other gallon and I used like three quarters of that gallon, especially having to paint all the grooves with a paintbrush and it was very tedious. I probably spent a solid two and a half hours just straight painting, but it's done. It looks great. And now I can turn the power back on because I have the wall done. I'm gonna fasten the breaker box back onto the wall. I disconnected all of the sketchy wiring that was going on upstairs, but the wiring to my side of the shop looks all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in and get some light in here. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Uh-oh, it's raining. All right, thankfully I don't think that rain's gonna last. you guys powers back on i went ahead and cleaned up the breaker box as best that i could it looks really good behind there man this wall puts off a lot of light too i'm gonna put a trim board up there eventually and since this will be covered i probably won't even bother putting a trim piece down there For the next project i think i'm gonna try to salvage this workbench but tomorrow my main focus is getting the drz all good to go for some thrashing this weekend. It's riding time. We're gonna do a lot of riding this weekend. I hope to see some of you at the AIM Expo. I'll also be at Harley Davidson on Friday around 5 p.m. to watch Sea Bear Stunts do his thing, so that's gonna be fun. But I'm happy with what we got done today. Definitely been a long day. It's going on 10 o'clock right now and I've been at it nonstop. So yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I'm gonna go wind down for the night, edit this video, and I will see y'all tomorrow. What's that box outside the barn? I don't know. What is it? Where'd it come from? What are you talking about? The box! The big box! It has a motorcycle on it! <laughs>